Hi, video diary. So, today, I'll be fine for a few hours, and then it'll hit me, and I'll ask myself, How could he do this? Just really simple. Just how could he do this? How could he use heroin? And kill himself? And now I'm using him, you know, I'm, he's a means to some other end. He's no longer an end. That's just... It's just it. There's a hole in me that's never going to not be there. But yeah, how could he do this? I really thought I thought he was smarter, but what I, I mean that he wasn't a kid anymore. He was, he was, but he wasn't. At 23, he knew The guy in the nursing home, uh, funeral home, it was a very surreal experience. It was like a set from Twin Peaks. And the place was out of time. Not back in time, just it had history in it, but it was just in this other world. This man helped me. He helped me take care of my son one last time. Um, yeah, and, and I wasn't able to record any videos of either the memorial or the funeral because I just felt that they should not They should not be memorialized. I took a couple of pictures of Forrest. Or what? Over his casket. And they say everything. The image. Because that was his shell. It no longer is a moving thing. And this can happen. And it, it did happen.
there was some kind of drug addict-y people there. I don't know how else to put it. It's the vibe I got. And then all the MMA people, which had everybody from police officers to forces. Very close workout mates that needed a lot of my my love because they 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 were all completely completely fucked up they didn't have a context to lose one of their their brightest and most promising He had two amateur fights and a couple other uh, matches that maybe were other thing amateur fights, but he helped train other people for their camps, and those people were devastated. It was weird. How did I get on this? Oh yeah, just why? How, how could you do it? I had one of the hardest jujitsu classes yesterday and it just wouldn't end. It was like two and a half hours of. It was, it was great. Uh, especially great when it was over. And. I can't really talk to the. You know. I mean. I just realized there's such a hole. My body hurts. Forrest and I would talk a lot about just his daily, like, injuries to his wrist, uh, to his jaw. Somebody choked me last night, and I feel, I feel like that constricted thing, and um, he got, like, a scratchy voice for a couple of months. I miss him so much. And he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be dead. And all the good things in my life are, they're like hollow now. Just the pleasure is not there. I think so much of my pleasure was feeling like Oh, I'm discovering things still and and pushing boundaries in my own my own life and I'm going to share those with him. And now there's just me. You know, just in in terms of the thing we had that I'm alone with with that part of my um, experience of life. Like I said, he was like a counterweight. And maybe I had too much of a relationship, you know, too much meaning. It felt natural.
Why'd you do it? How could you do it? How could you do something? He was shooting the needle into his legs so that nobody would see it in his arms. Like, how do you think that that out to a point where you normalize it? I see all these fathers and sons and they have like the same face. And his face is only inside of me now. You know, just in the sense that that's the only place I will ever see it. I guess in pictures, which I haven't even looked at. That's another a whole nother level of um, I don't know what that's going to be like. Why did you do this? How could you do it? 